guys, welcome back to Junior Church at Home. Um, as always, um, I like to start by getting us to think a little bit about what we looked at last week. Um, so turn to the people around you, see if anyone can remember what were we thinking about last week. So last week we saw how John the Baptist says that Jesus is greater than he is. His followers, if you remember, were getting a little bit jealous that Jesus was getting attention. And John says, no, that's the right thing. Jesus is more important than I am. Jesus is greater. Um, and some of you did some crafts, um, sent me some pictures and videos of what you've been doing. Um, also of our little challenge, so we're going to have a little look um, at some of the things you've sent me now. John said, he must become greater and I must become less. God is Who's this? Is this John. John. And this is Jesus. Great. It's lovely to see what you guys have been up to. Um, I think the winner for our challenge this week um, is the Smith family. Um, so a prize will be on its way to you shortly. Um, now, John really, really wants us to get what he's been saying. Um, the last few weeks we've been looking at John's Gospel um, and this stuff is so important. So last week he told us that Jesus was greater than John the Baptist. Well, just in case we haven't got it yet, this week, in this week's passage, he says that Jesus is greater than everything and everyone. Jesus is greater than all. And he tells us a bit about why Jesus is so great. So we're going to have a little look um, at that passage now. The one who comes from above is greater than all. He who is from the earth belongs to the earth and talks about things on the earth. But the one who comes from heaven is greater than all. He tells what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts what he says. The person who accepts what he says has proven that God is true. God sent him and he tells the things that God says. God gives him the spirit fully. The father loves the son and has given him power over everything. He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will never have that life. God's anger stays with him. Great, so we've seen there that Jesus is greater than everything and everyone. Um, none of us have ever been to heaven. We've never seen God, but Jesus has. Jesus came from heaven. That's what it means when it says the one who came from above. So Jesus can tell us what God says. Um, he can tell us what God the Father says to us. And it also tells us there, the Father loves the Son. So he's given him power over everything, even power over sin and death. 
Now, you may have noticed that this passage doesn't end on a particularly happy note. Um, the last verse told us that whoever rejects the Son um, won't have eternal life and that God's anger stays with him. Um, and this is something that lots of people find really hard to understand. We don't want to think of God being angry with us or with people we care about. Um, and maybe you think that it's a bit mean or unfair that some people don't get to have eternal life. This is a really hard thing to think about. But we need to remember that God is always good and always fair. He's never mean. No one deserves eternal life with God. It wouldn't be unfair if he didn't give it to any of us. We all deserve to die. We deserve God's anger. But he wants to give us eternal life, even though we don't deserve it. And he does this without being unfair to anyone because the punishment that we deserve is taken by Jesus. So it's not unfair that some people don't get to go to heaven, but it is really sad and God thinks it's really sad too. So I'm gonna say a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you are greater than everyone and everything. Thank you that you came to earth to save us, that you have power um, over sin and death and can save us. Um, Lord, we pray that more people would come to know you and accept you so that they can go to heaven and have eternal life with you. Amen. Now it'd be great if you could have a go at some of the questions um, on this week's Junior Church Notes. Have a go at the challenge that I've set um, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. While we were his enemies, God showed us his love. God showed us his love. God showed us.